Stevie, there you are, dear. How did your meeting go with the property developers? Not too well. I don't have much more time to raise the money. It looks like I'm going to lose the stables. No way. We can't let that happen. Well, after our chat the other day, I began thinking about my late husband, Jack. I started to look through some old boxes of his things. I found something interesting. Jack used to work down in the mine on the island with Frank Foster, Tom Smith and Peter Adams. He always kept a journal of his work down there. He was always writing in that thing. Well, I came across some loose pages from it. Some pages I'd never seen before. I read them over. Something about gold. I found it a bit confusing, really. Jack never spoke about any of this. I thought perhaps you could have a read. Maybe there's something in them. Maybe something that could help save the stables. If there's a chance it could save the stables, of course I'll have a look. Thank you. I know this is supposed to be a holiday for you, but you will try your best, won't you, dear? I can't bear to lose the stables. Don't worry. I'll get on to it right away. You may want to visit Frank Foster down at the mine. He was a friend of my Jack's. Okay. Bye, dear. Hello there, lass. Just a quick hello. I can't stop, you see. Got post to deliver. Cheerio! No, oh, my name's Arthur, by the way. Okay. Bye.
Hello, Frank. Ah, what do you want? Another nosy Parker, eh? Come to steal me gold, have you? No. Oh, oh, that's good. Now, uh, hey, um, what did you say your name was? It's Stevie. Oh, good for you. Nice name, for what it's worth. I'm Frank. Oh, but I told you that already, though, didn't I? No. What? Oh, oh well, I can be a bit forgetful sometimes. What are you mining for? What? Oh, um, gold and um, and other things. But uh, you best keep away from the mine. It's no place for a young person like yourself. It's too dangerous. I need to find out something. Oh, I. I'm staying with Agnes Southerd. Never heard of her. She said I should say hello to you. Did she? Well, uh, I don't know who she is. Jack Southerd's wife. Don't you remember Jack? Well, of course I remember Jack. How could I not remember Jack? Whoa, sorry. Hey, it's not your fault, lass. So, uh, what did Agnes have to say? She gave me some pages from Jack's journal. Did some sort of accident happen in the mine? I don't want to talk about it. If you want to know all about that, then read the damn paper. They couldn't get enough of it at the time. <laughs> Go to the library and read it for yourself. There's something else. In his diary, Jack mentioned something about gold. Do you know anything about it? Uh, no idea. I've been trying to forget about those days. Too many bad memories. And you'd do well to do the same. There's no down here, or anywhere for that matter. So clear off now. This place is nothing but trouble. But Frank... Whoa, what an old grump. Hello. Ah, hello. You must be Stevie. That's right. I'm Lady Althorpe. I live here at the manor. Nice to meet you. I give riding lessons to all the children on the island and run the library here. You can come by any time. Thanks, Lady Althorpe. Please, call me Jane. Okay, Jane. I was just wondering if you had any old papers about the mine accident that happened. I think it was a long time ago. Oh, yes. What a terrible thing. I still don't think the island ever got over it. I wasn't alive at the time, but I remember my mother talking about it. Here you go. This came out the day after it happened. Thanks. Hmm. I guess I'll have to solve this first clue. Maybe I can get some help from someone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello there. I'm Wilfred Bertwold. Hi, I'm Stevie. Oh yes, the new one. How are you settling in? Fine, thanks. Jolly good. Say, you don't know where Cynthia is, do you? No, sorry. Oh well, we used to dance together at the Island Ballroom Dancing <laughs> Champions, 1967. Oh, those were the days. Anyway, I must be off. Bye. G'day, I'm Francis, but everyone calls me Frank. Hi, I'm Stevie. Yeah, I know. How's it going? Fine, thanks. Can't say as much for my motorbike engine. She's not going at all. I'm working on the engine up at Dad's workshop. He's the blacksmith. Wow, you ride a motorbike? That's cool. Yeah, well, I'm sure not riding it at the moment. So, do you know anything about motorbikes? Not really, just horses. Horses, <laughs> too slow for me. Yeah, but at least they don't break down. You sound like my dad. Better go back to it anyway. See you later. G'day, I'm Bruce. Bruce Campbell, the farrier. Hi, Bruce. I'm Stevie. Ah, I heard you're staying at the old stables for a while. Yes, it's a great place. Well, if you ever need a pair of shoes for your horse, drop by. Thanks, Bruce. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Who do we have here then? I'm Stevie. I'm here for a holiday. I'm staying at Willowbrook Stables. Constable Ball, at your service, ma'am. Haven't we already met? Uh, let me see. Uh, no, I, I don't seem to recall. Aren't you the postman? Oh yes, of course. You don't need to send a letter, do you? So you have two jobs. That's right. The world needs its mail delivered and its mailboxes protected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye then. Right you are. Carry on then. Hello, Arthur. I was wondering if you could help me with something. Need a letter posted, do you? Not quite. Here. All right, let's have a look then. My trusty lamp lights the way, yet my hands are free to work all day. Uh, lamp at night. Uh, delight. Hey, what's this? Some sort of riddle? Yes, I think so. Written by a miner. Well, miners wear a light on their head to keep their hands free to work. Now, if this was an official police investigation, I'd go to a place where a miner would leave his hat when he gets home from work. Thanks, Arthur. No problem. Cheerio!
Maybe this is it. There's a note inside. This must be the next clue. I am black as soot, but cannot burn. In the roaring fire, I'm used to turn. My friends at work are anvil and hammer. Find my place amongst the clamor. This is starting to sound like hard work. Hello, dear. I was wondering when I might meet you. I heard you're staying up the way there. Oh, dear, where's my manners? I'm Cynthia. Cynthia Appleby. Hi, I'm Stevie. That's a lovely name. Now, you've got a little pony, haven't you? Well, she's a bit bigger than a pony. More of a horse. Oh, sorry, yes, a horse. Well, if you need anything for him, just come by and we can sort it out. I run the shop in the village. Thanks. Bye, then. Hi, Cynthia. How's things? Just fine, until that awful man came in. What awful man? That Bartholomew Fox, the property developer. He's the one that wants to buy Agnes' stables. He comes in here with all his fancy city talk, telling me how great it will be when the stables are torn uh, down. He's not from the island, then? Definitely not. No one here would do anything like that. Don't worry. Agnes and I have a plan. Hey, could you help me with a riddle? Sorry, love. I haven't got my thinking cap on. Maybe another time. <laughs> 